We're living in a progressively round world, and I'm not talking about the shape of the planet, I'm talking about the shape of the inhabitants of the planet. Clearly, on a metabolic level, we're breaking. And the question is why, and what can we do about it? And I think the why is straightforward. When you look at what we are consuming, what our population has become habituated to consider as food, you can see the failure point. Go to a supermarket. I'll use Whole Foods as an example because it has a reputation for having a rather health-conscious perspective. I looked at a variety of packaged bacon. Yeah, bacon. What does it contain? Well, not surprisingly pork, a little bit more surprisingly, however, sugar. Brown sugar, well, it's, it's Whole Foods. I looked at olives. What are olives packed in? Olive oil? That would seem logical, rational. No, canola oil. Yeah, olives, canola oil, there's a disconnect. Look at the salad bar. Thankfully, they have ingredients listed. Not so thankfully, those ingredients tend to run in the dozen or more for simple foods like chicken and beef. Now, yes, the spinach is spinach and so are some vegetables and fruit. But when you see what most people consume on a daily basis, in the majority, it's combinations of large numbers of ingredients almost always being adulterated with some form of sugar. And that, I believe, is fundamentally breaking the governors on satiety that keep the animal kingdom from expanding in girth. Now, ordinarily, we as members of the animal community would eat when hungry, stop when full, and repeat based on our actual energy requirements. The problem is the foods, the adulterated forms of food that we're consuming, in my opinion, are fracturing our ability to rationally understand our own internal needs for energy, creating a scenario, this death spiral scenario, where satiety is less a function of energy expenditure and energy intake and more and more governed by a pleasure center, a reward center, a drug-like addiction. Now, I don't think this is particularly new to many people. This is rather well understood. Perhaps what isn't fully appreciated is how pervasive the contamination of food is in regard to sugar or canola oil, whatever ingredient you may find by itself or in combination to be toxic to rational consumption. But the fundamental issue, the fundamental issue remains that we need to seize control of the ways in which we can nourish ourselves. We have to restore our food to food, recognizable by our great-great-great-grandmother if she were alive today. I doubt the boxes that contain the monstrosities of chemicals that many people consume as part of their daily routine would be considered fit for human consumption by people from generations ago when there were vastly less instances of metabolic dysfunction in the forms that we see today. And we have to cease embracing the notion of short-term fixes, of diets, in terms of a remediation by deprivation for a period of time to achieve a specific weight loss. That doesn't work. It violates the basic notion of the human desire for food. If you deprive people long enough, they will rebound time and again. It's why there's about a 90 some odd percent failure rate to diets. Not only failure rate in terms of sustained weight loss, but a rebound effect that puts people above their initial weight. So in short, I'd say excessive mindfulness of the products that you're eating, not only in terms of the labels on the surface, oh it's heart healthy or low in sugar or this or that, but in terms of the actual ingredients will allow us to consume foods that normalize our sense of hunger and intrinsically calibrate that sense of hunger to our true energy requirements. And when we do that, we largely supplant the need for diets as in artificial constraint on food intake with the attaching hunger and we replace it with simply satiating our natural need for nutrients. Stop living in a world where we're undernourished through an overabundance of calories and start living in, in a world where we're highly nourished with a rational abundance of calories.